Now, I don't believe in growth at the cost of freedom. So in the last six and a half years as a business owner, I have trialed and experimented with different kinds of service-based models in the hopes of really finding a type of model that really aligns with the lifestyle choices that I really want to have. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my discoveries of what models worked best for me and why choosing to be a solopreneur has allowed me the lifestyle freedom to work from anywhere and a simplified model that gives me the life that I wanna have. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. Hey, thank you so very much for being here. I'm Lydia Lee. I'm a work reinvention strategist uh, where my work is really dedicated to help you create a meaningful business that supports the life that you want. Now, if you're new here, big welcome to you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button to be the first to know when every new episode of my videos come out in this channel uh, that will ping you, will do something to make sure that you know to watch uh, and get great value every single week from some of the content that I produce on this channel. Now, uh, what I want to talk about today is really uh, the benefits of looking at particular uh, models, right, of work and uh, entrepreneurship or business ownership models uh, that could really be really important for particular lifestyle choices and the time that you may want to have and how you really want to work and how you really want to earn an income. But I want to talk about this also in the story of my own experience going through uh, being a business owner for the last six and a half years and really trialing and dipping into different types of hybrid models, different types of um, you know alternative ways to really uh, find something that really suits uh, the way that I like to work and also the lifestyle choices that I really want to have. So in the last six and a half years, I have gone from um, you know being a obviously I'm still a service-based provider, uh, but being able to sort of design different types of models for service-based, uh, my service-based model of a business, <clears throat> uh, which has brought me to do a lot of you know one-on-one -on -one work. Uh, it's brought me to do things like one-to-many work, things like group programs, courses, retreats. Uh, I even have had a school for a whole year uh, where I took students, uh, you know, twice uh, in an intake in a year, uh, going back to one-on-one -on -one work again, and then now landing in a bit of a hybrid uh, of actually utilizing and leveraging a lot of my uh, the content that I've created for courses with the one-on-one -on -one experience to really um, make it an even higher quality experience for my premium signature uh, one-on-one -on -one clients. Now, as I went through several models from um, you know hiring employees to having multiple uh, full-time employees working for me to project-based employees, right, to partnerships with other business owners to create programs uh, and just being solo in the work that I do, um, this year and a uh, majority of last year, I have really, really focused on um, really excelling and doing better in the solopreneurship model of my business. Now, here's why I'm a huge advocate for solopreneurship. And keep listening. If you're someone that is a bit like me, you're really looking for a minimalist business. You're looking for a simple business, uh, a way that you can do really good work, uh, provide for yourself and earn a good income, but not sacrifice time, uh, balance in your life. Uh, and you're not also, you're also like me, you're not interested to just grow for the sake of growing. So here's sort of why I've chosen solopreneurship as my primary model for my business. And here's how it's put a benefit in my life. Uh, the first thing is what I mentioned at the beginning of this video, lifestyle freedom and this whole sense of flexibility that I'm able to have more in my life. Now, when I started doing multiple offers or I had lots of group programs and I was running that with a team, uh, it was all great in terms of earning ex excellent revenue for the year for myself. But what I found with the sacrifice to really earn you know, over six figures uh, to do all those programs every single year, majority of the time I could probably have made similar money really going all in and creating actually higher end services. So 
I've done everything from mini courses to all the way to high premium services programs. And really where I find that I do my best work is really one-on-one. And that might be something that could be true for you. If you're just someone that knows that the work that, and the quality of work that you're wanting to deliver, you know, as a business owner, it's just well done as a personal service, as a hand, hands-on service, as a premium service. So when I was able to really focus on a service where my knowledge and my experience are the asset, I'm not relying on just um, other people to run my programs for me, you know, where people come to see me and they'll pay, you know, more money to actually coach with me rather than go through a self-guided program where they might get lost along the way. So I was really targeting a market of people that actually appreciate one-on-one services and have probably done hundreds of courses and have gotten nowhere and now really need to value or would like to value uh, more intimacy and personalization in the coaching that they receive. And as someone who values time as my own version of success, you know, uh, for me, money is not the only thing that is the um, target, right, that I'm looking for. I want to be able to fund my life, to be able to save money for my future, but I also really value time. And so being a solopreneur and really focusing where I'm the asset, I'm not going to fuss around with automated programs. I'm going to really focus on premium services. Uh, that's really allowed me to um, actually be having more time with the people I love, with the community I love, with my partner. Uh, and that's been uh, hugely beneficial for the lifestyle choices that I really want to have. And the next thing of a benefit is really the ability to really do deeper work and offer a premium product. Now, as you probably have been around the internet, you see all sorts of different digital, you know, online entrepreneurs offering everything, right? From books to courses, to services, to, um, you know, all sorts of things, right? That you can do digitally. And now, for sure, I think there's definitely um, some positive things about having variety, right, of offers in your business. But again, if you're someone that is built and designed like me, uh, where you do crave deeper work, uh, you do want to work with people on a personalized level, the great news here is that other people are also really looking for something alternative to something automated and something that they can just be self-guided or a DIY version, you know, of a program, which is sometimes easier, you know, to create, but not easy to get results for, if you, if you will, right? So your customers may be looking uh, for actually someone that they can actually get some really intimate questions answered for them, where they're guided along and they can, they can trust you, you are there for the ride for them to get those results. And those kinds of people pay more money and they value your time and they value that intimacy and personalization and strategic focus, right? That you'll really give to them where they can get to those answers a lot faster than to do it themselves. So when you can offer deeper work in a premium service as a solopreneur, what happens is that you can start to really pick the clients and the projects that you're most passionate to work with and to work on, uh, to work on. And being a solopreneur means that you will need to have fewer clients, right? With higher quality work, because again, people pay more for higher quality premium services. So you don't have to hustle or have that kind of hustle mentality, which I was so happy to let go of, you know, when I chose to actually focus on my one-on-one -on -one services is that I only needed a handful of clients um, every few months, you know, because they would last me, right? In terms of covering all my uh, living costs, my business costs and saving for the future. And what I really found was that I was able to have more time to take breaks for a whole month, not work for two months over the summer at times when I feel like it, because again, a lot of the deep work I do garners a higher cost in exchange for the services that I provide. The third benefit that I've really um, experienced with being a solopreneur uh, is the low overhead and the lo low cost to upkeep for my business. Now, as I mentioned, I have trialed all different types of things with hiring really great employees and excellent con you know, people that work with me on a full-time basis. Uh, but what I really realized, and this is just a personal thing that is more about my personality and my desires, is that I don't have any interest in managing people. 
and sometimes there is a difference, right? And where you can still run a people, not be lonely and still get support that you might hire for in your business. But as a solopreneur business, you might actually hire, like what I did was hire based on uh, specialty and expertise where I would hire uh, higher end people that I might pay a little bit more for, but I don't have to manage them, right? They really manage and take uh, control of the, part, the parts of the project that I'm not good at, like the copywriting or the web design, right? Or uh, some marketing uh, things that I may not know how to do, right? That is sort of uh, beyond my capacity of expertise. I hire as I need, and that saves me a lot of money without the pressure of need, uh, needing to give a full-time salary to somebody every single month when I might have different choices that I have every year for my business. So there's been times where, you know, I have actually needed for health reasons to take time off, but I felt bad for not being, you know, I needed to still pay my full-time employees. So I had to still fork out that salary while not making an income for the next month or two, right? So those decisions can be quite high pressure and a solopreneur uh, type of business uh, really gives a little bit more flexibility in how you spend your money. Now that's not to be confused with not uh, working with people, right? Um, it's about having conscious choices about who you want to hire for maybe a specific kind of project or a specific kind of task, and you're not responsible for their livelihood, right? And because of that, you can also really hire uh, better skill set workers uh, for particular projects. You can really, you know, hire people that are even better than you at, at what they do so that you know you don't have to manage, right? And a solopreneur business allows you to do that. I've been doing that for a couple years now, right? Not having full-time employees and really just going back to my really trusted and um, loyal, you know, contractors that we've already familiar working together. Uh, and I found that this sort of relationship is so much more uh, for my personality and also I don't feel pressure to really, like I said, be responsible for their livelihood. So in summary, um, I don't think I will ever be someone that isn't about the minimalist business or the solopreneur model. Uh, knowing what I know in the last six and a half, almost seven years of being a business owner, um, there are many things that I find really important in my life uh, that are just simply uh, non-negotiable for me these days. And so whether you are in a starting point of designing a business for the first time, or maybe you're watching this as you have developed a business, but you felt like the business had run you down, um, solopreneur model is perhaps something that you can consider uh, and something that's more simplified to actually start earning a living where you are the asset that you can charge for the experience you have and the strategic focus that you really will give your clients and to really just work with the best people that you're suited to serve and not have to have that hustle mentality of just doing more and more and more in or, or the order to earn an income. Uh, and you can uh, be calm and comforted knowing that a model like this can still earn you a great living while giving you time, balance, uh, and giving you more flexibility to design your life or design your business around the life that you really wanna have. Now, I would love to hear from you. Uh, did any part of the benefits that I talked about in my own story and journey as a solopreneur hit a note for you? If so, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you're most interested in to learn about being a solopreneur or transitioning your business to be more simplified in a more solopreneur manner. Um, let me know in the comments below as well. And as usual, everything I create here for you uh, really is for you. <laughs> so your feedback and any questions or uh, topic suggestions that you might want to give to me uh, to film for the future, I'm always happy to receive them. Uh, thank you very much for being here today and I hope to see you in the next video. Ready to work for yourself but have no idea where to begin? I'll show you how. Learn how to create a self-employment plan with work you can love with the Work Reinvented course. It's time to stop wondering if there's a bigger, more meaningful way to enjoy your life and work. There is.